Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go ask people what they thought of the launch. All right, so we have Never Normal, and you got to watch the launch in person. How was it? Oh, it was absolutely incredible. My voice is gone from screaming. I was down at the beach with the SpaceX Starship team and like their energy was incredible. Their pride was like just like palpable and like the whole time just cheers and excitement. And um, I have like a, I have like, I don't know, goosebumps still just talking about it. Well, I'm here with Dr. Proctor. You were able to watch the second Starship launch and what was your reaction? Oh man, it was epic. I gotta tell you, it was so worth coming here. And I heard that, you know, you've been to space, but you said this was the most beautiful thing you've seen in your life. Oh, it, yep, except for my launch, of course. Right. But yes, yes, when it comes to um, actually watching, you know, a rocket take off, this was by far the most beautiful launch I've ever seen. Wow, that's yeah. saying a lot. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen a lot of launches. Were you able to see number one? Yes, I was here when it, uh, the first one. So what a different launch we had today. <laughs> it was, it was uh, fantastic to just to watch it go all the way up and uh, get to stage separation and yes. uh, carry on. Oh, it's going! That's unbelievable! Woo! Wow! That's unbelievable! Woo! Woo! So excited for where SpaceX is going with, um, you know, with Starship. Absolutely, and talk about the sound in person because you were quite close. <laughs> the sound is amazing. But what's great is because, you know, the Starship will take off and you don't get the sound until later. And so you finally, you know, you're watching it and then the sound hits and it just adds a whole nother level of like um, engagement because you're like, oh, it's so loud. And it's just like, boom, 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 boom. And yeah, absolutely speaking it's, its own language. It's kind of startling. And so you went to space. What was the sound like in, in the rocket? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, luckily we have uh, special uh, earbuds built for us to help dampen the noise. Um, but, you know, it's, it's again, it's that it's, it's kind of like the rocket singing to you almost, right? Serenading you as you go off into space. What does this say about the future for Starship and actually going to Mars? It's, it's, it says that the future is really bright, you know? Um, Starship is a game changer for humanity. So this is uh, for the benefit of all of us so that we can go on to the moon and then on to Mars and uh, beyond. And what did you think? Well, I'm, I'm a thrill seeker. This, that was shit. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I was really so lucky. so different from the first launch. It was louder, man. It was more powerful and uh, just it was it was intense. Yes, I loved it. Absolutely. Where'd you watch from? Uh, I was with Cyan, and she's the life of the party. <laughs> we were down at Dolphin Cove and uh, right on the water with everyone. Awesome. It was insane. It was great, it, yeah. and it was. It did sound much did. louder and yeah. just looked so much better than the first <laughs> launch. <laughs> yeah. Really, really stoked. Um, it was just looked clean. The flames looked clean. It was super loud. Yeah, man. it was and, startling. Uh, you look around, everyone's just screaming and crying. It was so intense. Like it's, I said, man, I, I, I love crazy stuff. That yeah. was the craziest. That was so loud. Yes, you can't <laughs> wait for the next one. Yes, I'll be here. Awesome. Really Great. Glad when you are you going to watch one from a surfboard or from horseback? Good question. Actually, I want to go to Hawaii for the next one, and like, let's go. Yeah, that would be awesome <laughs> yeah. to be on that end. I would love to see it coming back in. I've seen them all here. You know? Yeah, everything. Since yeah, you one. you've been here from the very beginning. Like, let's do something new. What is it like to see just you know the trajectory of Starship and the progress that SpaceX has made? It's, it's just the beginning. You know, it's like today was the beginning of okay, well, we're gonna start doing this all the time, right? Yeah. Hopefully not in uh, seven months, hopefully much sooner. No, I think they have them lined up. The pad, if you watch the liftoff, the, the cloud was yeah. clean, it was white. There was no mud flying. Yes. So I'm, I'm assuming the pad's in great shape and we'll be launching it again pretty soon. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Can't wait. Can't wait. Thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate it. Okay, so you made this skateboard out of... Starship SN1. Yeah, I made wow. it for Tim and I stole it back. You stole it back? Yeah, it was getting dusty in his 
studio. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can we see the top of it? That is so cool. Can you ride it for us? <laughs> Demo right here. Go, girl. Ooh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nice. We were just talking about, uh, you know, we're learning more information about the launch. What's your aftermath reaction so far? Well, first of all, just congratulations to SpaceX and the team and all the people that are working on this uh, project. It's amazing what they're doing. It's uh, the potential to really transform space travel and open up so many opportunities. So really congratulations to the team for this successful uh, test number two. Uh, they had a number of milestones that they really wanted to achieve, and they, I think they achieved far more than they were expecting. Um, as far as my initial reactions right now, of course, you want to know what happened to the booster after the separation, um, and it's really early to tell for sure. Some imaging looks like maybe uh, there was a problem with relighting the 13 inner engines, and maybe that caused some asymmetric thrust, and it went out of... Uh, out of the vector that they wanted, so maybe it terminated the flight termination system. Uh, and then, you know, the, the ship went another, I don't know, five or six minutes. It got to almost 150 kilometers and 24, 25,000 kilometers an hour, so very close to orbital velocity, definitely past the Kármán line. So I think that's a huge win, too, and we'll just have to find out what happened with the ship. But overall, I would just say I'm just thrilled to have been here. It was awesome. The sound, the visuals, the crowds. Just everybody, you know, having a great time and being so excited. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to come back for the next one. And you were saying you think maybe the next one will be a little sooner. Well, a lot depends right now. Obviously, they're going to go out and look at stage zero. That's the orbital launch mount and the facility, see what happened. Um, so far, it, from what I could see, it looks like it did much better than before, but we'll have to find out. Um, and uh, once they determine all that uh, and, and, you know, just whatever checks that they have to do, they, they have more boosters and more ships ready to go. So it could go pretty quickly. Um, there's some thinking that assuming everything looks good, it may be somewhere between December and March. So we'll see. Awesome. Great. Hey, you guys. So oh, my gosh. <gasps> we have Oh my um, gosh, and you're you're a space artist. Yes, I do aerospace watercolors, aviation paintings. Um, so this is where I, I come and I, I get my inspiration for everything. I was gonna say, it really helps to get that inspiration in person. <laughs> it does. I was genuinely this morning, I was like, oh, those lavenders are so beautiful. I can't wait to paint them. Yeah, the sunrise was, was beautiful. Did anything surprise you about the launch? You know what? I'm gonna say no, because I don't think I would have bet against Starship, like against SpaceX doing better just nailing it like no raptors out like full confidence i um it, it was beautiful absolutely anything yeah. else 
That's it. Thank you. Awesome. Um, I went to space as an artist and a poet. And so I have my own art. And so if you go to space to inspire with the number two, space to inspire uh, dot art, you can see my art. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Have shoes. Yes, I got shoes. I got everything. <laughs> Head to toe. Yep. Decked out. And uh, wow, that. do you just think about that trip to space all the time? I do. Yeah. I do. And it inspires my art, as you can see. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And were you able to see Jared yesterday? I know he's here for a no, flyover. No, because he was doing his flyover and I flew in late afterwards. I didn't even get to see the flyover, but I'm going to see him tonight. Awesome. We're so glad you didn't miss it. Yeah, me too. Great. Thank you so much.